Having a plan in place and knowing what your go signals are super critically important to self-defense. Hi everyone, welcome to today's lesson here at Active Self Protection. I'm your host, John Correa. Today's video comes to us from a suburb of Buenos Aires in Argentina. Firearms Legal Protection is who I trust to help me after a use of force incident. If you're a Firearms Legal Protection member, you can attend our monthly Active Self Protection training seminars for free. Check out all they offer to their members at the link below. Pickup truck here is being driven by an accomplished stuntman who's done Netflix series. Dudes come up to him, kind of try to pinch him in. Guy jumps out showing him a gun and he ain't having it. He nopes right out of there. He saw the bystander pull away too. See it from another angle. As soon as he comes in there, watch our defender, put it in reverse, rock and roll out of there. And these guys decided they wanted to go find another target. Uh, I don't think police have caught them in any way. There's a couple of news stories if you want more information in the description. You know, question for you out of this. Have you ever taken evasive driving class? I've taken defensive driving classes, but you know, watching videos like this makes me think maybe an evasive driving class is in my future. How about you? So the stuff we're talking about here is not defensive driving. A defensive driving class is regular traffic conditions. This is what we call evasive driving or you know aggressive driving. This is highly skilled stuff, especially driving a vehicle at high speed in reverse. Does this kind of stuff need some uh, a little bit of training? I think so, and I think it's worth doing. Of course, you know, you're gonna see this kind of stuff relatively rarely, but we see it often enough on the channel. It might be worth doing. It's probably a lot of fun too. I'm looking into one. If you know of one that's around, hey, put it in the comments for me, would you, so that I can go and check it out. Maybe that's something I can do this year. Now listen, this guy pinches those, these folks in, and I wanna pay attention to how fast our guy gets the heck out of there. He sees what's going on. He's paying attention. We see this kind of attack relatively regularly that they pinch in like this, come out with a gun and anticipate that whoever is inside that car will comply with them where they can steal the car, get away with it, get away with any valuables in it and go. Why did they choose this guy? I don't know. It was a poor choice on their part, but you don't always get to choose that, right? They may just choose. I like this pickup truck. Let's steal that truck. It's a really nice looking truck with a nice bed cover. Okay, fine. But for whatever reason, you better be ready to go in the moment. And he is. I also want to note the bystander here. You notice she's on the sidewalk to the right. And she doesn't stick around either. As soon as, as soon as she sees that dude jumping out with a gun, she starts running and she gets out of the danger zone. The reason that's a really good thing is because they're looking for targets of opportunity. Their first target runs off. They might then come back and say, hey, this second target is an easy target too. We'll steal her backpack and stuff. And that's what they're looking for. Instead, as soon as she sees a problem, even though their eyes aren't focused on her, she doesn't just stand there. She doesn't get the normalcy bias thing. She runs off. And I think that was a really, really good idea. Now, one interesting bit here, he's gonna get in the in reverse and get out of there instantly, immediately, and I think that is absolutely the right choice. I do wanna pay attention to the fact that you wanna have a backup plan here, because as he starts going, I, and, and he starts hitting that sucker into reverse, turning himself around and getting in there, he is going to have a limited amount of space to go back. Now that said, I think driving is the right answer here. I know some people are gonna be like, man, I'd just get my gun out and start blasting. Recognize he would have to be shooting through his windshield. And I've said this many times on the channel that shooting through the windshield is a dicey proposition because windshields do weird things to bullets and we don't always know where that bullet is gonna go. It changes the trajectory in, in really kind of unpredictable ways. So using the car is a much better idea. But as we see here, eventually he gets into traffic and he's not gonna be able to move backwards anymore. And so what are you gonna do if these guys decide to you know, continue on and decide to press their attack? This is when having a firearm on your person is a really good idea. So do you carry your firearm when you're in the car? Yes, and leave it in the same place that you always have it, right? The right place for a gun in your car is in the holster on your body that you keep with you in as you get into the car. Less administrative gun handling is good. Practice your driving skills first, your shooting skills second, and cover your ASP.